Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Clark, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different again. I'm going to be trying these new uh, Bulldog uh, dumplings, and I'm also going to be trying Quattro cheese, but uh, that's not the main event. The main event here are these dumplings. Now these look very good. I love Bulldog. I love all, most of their flavors, not all of them, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna pop these open, I believe it says, pan fry recommended, air fry, microwave, steam, and boil, so, so we're gonna try air frying, and then we're gonna boil. I think those are the two that we're gonna try today just to have that bit of contrast and see what's better but okay so we've got our dumplings here this is what they look like frozen just little bunches of happiness and right here for air fry it says preheat air fryer to 356 and place six dumplings and spray some cooking oil in the air fryer basket so we we spray a little bit of this uh, avocado spray avocado oil and then I am going to just set these in here I found this air fryer on the side of the road it's a really good air fryer for the most part but uh, yeah it was on the side of the road covered in like marinara sauce so I guess somebody tried to like make spaghetti in it or something and then like got pissed off when it didn't work so yeah I guess it's a free for me I cleaned it up and one issue I have with it though is that there's no real easy way to uh, set time and uh, temperature so what I end up doing excuse me is I end up using this fry icon which is 360 for about 15 minutes so we're just gonna go ahead and use that excuse me can you let me speak okay so yeah this is our water boiling our water has boiled so I guess perfect timing I might as well grab a few more of these dumplings and just toss them into our boiling water I'm only gonna go with about three here because I put four in there and I still got to eat them noodles over there so don't want to don't want to don't want to splurge too much on my uh, my my new dumplings because I'm very excited to try these dumplings. I should. Why did I put those in there? I I I still need to look at the boiling. Boil. Pour enough water or broth into a pot and boil. Once the water is boiling, add the dumplings to the boiling water on medium heat. Medium heat. Medium heat, everybody. Medium heat for six minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and just throw this timer up here for six minutes on the microwave. Oh my goodness. And we are just gonna let those simmer in there. And I will, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Have y'all tried this Shasta Kiwi Strawberry? I've been I've been drinking it. I got a 12 pack at Winco yesterday, and this stuff is good. It's caffeine free. It's cheap and is very tasty. It's uh, very sweet, very tasty. All right, so our timer is done. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a plate. And 
we are just going to pull these out. Oh my god, I dropped it. We're going to pull these out. This one busted. Alright, those are out. Those are looking good. They're smelling good. One thing. Oh, I'm not done with this yet, though. Uh, while I'm at it, we are going to be boiling our Bulldog Quattro uh, cheese. I'm currently opening this with my mouth <laughs> so that I can record for you. So we're just going to drop those in there, just shove them in there, and then we are going to let those boil. These are our uh, packets of uh, sauce and powder. Those are going to add our delicious cheesy flavor. And. Uh, these should be done in a few more minutes, and I will be right back. You know what, I think I'm going to call it right there. Uh, it did, the, the temperature was a little bit off, so, you know, if it's bad, I'll blame myself. But I think these look pretty done so far. These are a lot crispier than the other ones that we uh, created. You can hear that. Uh, but yeah, I will. I'll be. I'll be. I'll be. I'll be coming back for the taste test once the noodles are done. Don't go anywhere. Whoa! 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 Okay, the noodles are cooked. I believe maybe a little al dente if anything but we should be fine uh, put it in that strainer get all that water out what a lot of people tend to do uh, mainly white people I'm looking at you um, is they treat it like top ramen or something and keep the broth in uh, it's not supposed to be broth. These are stir-fry noodles. So make sure you drain your water. And then we're going to go ahead and just slap it on this plate. And uh, I do need two hands to open these, so bear with me. So i going to just so gently add our cheese powder. That smells very cheesy. And then our sauce packet. Make sure you get as much out as you can. Unless you really can't handle the spice. I know some people can't. Again, looking at you white people. And then, I, I bought these yesterday when I went to the store. So we are just going to mix these up. Alrighty. So our, our dumplings are done, and so are our noodles. I will be right back. Okay, so... Like, like I said during my, uh, my FNAF burger, um, I'm not gonna go full mukbang, but, uh, we are going to taste each dumpling and our noodles. It's kind of hard to see, so I'm gonna dip you down a little bit. You might have trouble seeing anything but my neck beard, but, uh, hopefully that's okay. 
Uh, first, I'm gonna taste these noodles. Uh, I don't know if my chopstick skills are uh, passable. Let me know if they are or not. I enjoy using chopsticks. I think they're fun to use. Yeah, these are really good. They're spicy and cheesy, which is a really good combination in my opinion. If you have a low spice tolerance, you may have issues with like all the Bulldogs uh, flavors. But yeah, let's let's go for the air fried one first. That's what it looks like. I'm going to show you the inside. I wish it would focus. But uh, yeah, it's like... There's like some rice in there, I think. It said it, said it had soy and wheat in it, so... If you are... If you are... Uh, averted to those uh, products... You may want to skip these, uh, but that was pretty good. It had that little crunch at the top. Uh, better than I expected, honestly, for the air fried ones. But uh, these are the boiled ones. They are very floppy. Hmm. These aren't as good, surprisingly enough. I feel like these had more flavor. Maybe this watered it down? I'm not sure, but for some reason this one has a more flavor, has more spice, has a little bit more kick to it. So maybe, maybe steaming them would, would make these better if you prefer the more soft. But uh, I don't have a bamboo steamer or anything like that. But uh, these are good. These are actually really good. Uh, well, I'm going to take my kiwi shasta, kiwi strawberry shasta. And I'm going to finish this meal on my own. Uh, thank you all uh, so much for watching. And... Uh, yeah, I definitely recommend all uh, all of the things I tried today. Uh, bye!